It's estimated about half a million New Zealanders are now struggling to put enough food on the table. New research from the Auckland City Mission has painted a bleak picture of just how many people are experiencing food poverty. It says without enough money, some people have no other option but to skip meals or eat poorly or turn to charities for help. Our social issues reporter Sarah Robson has more. Renee Manella is a solo mum who says it was a struggle to put food on the table when she was on a benefit. You just end up buying just really rubbishy food, you know, it's like a dollar of pastas and the one dollar loaf of bread because that's what fills people up. And Renee isn't the only one who's struggled to feed her family. Over the last few years, the Auckland City Mission says demand for food keeps going up and up. It handed out 40% more food parcels last year than in 2017. But until now, its General Manager of Social Services, Helen Robinson, says information about food poverty in New Zealand was outdated and sparse. But her research, which involved interviews with 650 people who were accessing the City Mission's food bank, estimates about 10% of the population is affected by it. Much of what the mission has discovered through this research has not, uh, not what I would call rocket science, uh, but what it does do is give us the capacity to both measure the severity of the food insecurity people are experiencing, and it also gives us the evidence to say that uh, it impacts people's well-being and their psychological distress. About 40% of those surveyed had struggled to access enough appropriate food for their household for two years or more. Helen Robinson says it's a lack of money that's at the heart of the problem. We hear that people who are coming are very good at budgeting, are very capable at doing things, but that, that actually there's just not enough money coming inside the door. Trevor McGlinchey from the Council of Christian Social Services said food poverty isn't just affecting Aucklanders. Groups around the country are telling him that demand for food is growing. An organisation that may have been distributing uh, 100 food parcels a month uh, five years ago. Today we'll be distributing two to 300 food parcels a month. Trevor McGlinchey says when money is tight, food always comes last. So people always pay their rent, they pay their power, they fix up their car if they need it to get to work and back, and at the end of the day the thing that there's, there's nothing left for is food. And Helen Robinson says it's women who bear the brunt of it. If you are a single mother in New Zealand, um, uh, you are more than and likely to be in that group who are try who really are struggling to be food secure. Back in Taranaki, Renee Manella knows exactly how that feels. The mother of two is working part time now, but she says money is still tight. Her weekly food budget is one hundred and forty dollars. The tough pressure is off. But I, I still wouldn't say that I can buy whatever um, I wanted in terms of food. The Auckland City Mission is calling for an annual survey to measure food poverty and its effects. It also wants benefits and the minimum wage lifted and consideration given to extra support for women raising children. Mōti hōtaka o te ahi ahi, ko Sarah Robson, aho.